my videos with Will. You know how we've been doing it for the last, for the last couple of uh, weeks here? It's, you know, it's late spring, and uh, we're still working on our funguses, among you know other things. But uh, I wanted to bring your attention to what's growing on this this log that was in my old pile that I had for firewood this winter. And uh, this is called a uh, ericol, ericolus. You know what that is? It's a jelly fungus. And uh, they use it for various things. It's a really hot item in Asian cuisine. Hot and sour soup. I love that stuff. So I was like, hey, yeah. It does look like an ear. Feels like an ear. It's kind of cold. Uh, they also use it in medicine for thinning blood and a few other things. I'm sure you can do some research on that. But that's what it's called. It's a native fungus. It's a jelly fungus. And there's a lot of them. And they said you can eat these raw. But I wouldn't suggest it. Um, I'll have to work on that one. Anyhow, we're going to collect a few of these off of this tree here. Ah, you know how we do it. Cut it off with a knife. It didn't taste that bad. It tasted minerally. And as you can see, it's got jelly and stuff in it. Look, it looks like cartilage. Probably collagen. That's what I'm after. See, there's a whole bunch of them on here. It didn't taste that bad. It just tasted like jello with no flavoring. It tasted like if you were to eat jello with crushed up vitamins and minerals in it. That's what it tasted like. You don't really have to use a knife for this, but... Yeah, there we go. I just thought I'd make better work out of it. There's what the smaller ones look like, but uh, I thought I'd do a little documentation of this because these are the bigger ones. I don't hardly ever see them that large. And uh, how I had it was I had a couple of these uh, logs that the uh, power company had cut. <sighs> power company had cut, and... Uh, I brought them over here I just stacked them up and those are the ones that were on the bottom and I had something I had my basket laying up next to there and it just grew it's been about 75 degrees kind of humid but I'll put this up here so you can see what they look like and they call these uh, ears jelly ears they have a kind of a weird name for them juice ear hello hello Oh, maybe I got it upside down. There we go. Does that look like an ear to you? So this might be good for your hearing. There we go. Yeah, it feels kind of cold, rubbery. But not rubbery, rubbery. More like latex, mineral. It didn't taste that bad. I just don't recommend eating them. Well, I mean, I'm going to eat them. I just probably might want to throw them in with something else. Look, there's a snail in there. <laughs> Ew. Okay, everybody's out? Yeah, all right. Anyhow. Yeah. Ericol, Ericolus. Hello. I just thought they were funny because they look like ears. But they are edible. Most jelly funguses are. They just don't look that attractive. Let's try it again. Well, kind of chewy, but it, it dissolves. Has no flavor. It's just texture. And it tastes like, like minerals, pretty much. That's it. So basically, it's a gelatinous fungal type plant growing out of the side of a log 
It tastes like minerals. Yeah, it tastes like minerals in this. It's not like a rubber band. This actually dissolves. If you chew it, it breaks down. So, and you notice I just ate one. So I'll give you the uh, 45 minutes to an hour and a half from now feedback. So hopefully I don't hallucinate and see weird stuff. But it's uh, last week of May. I'm here in central Missouri. And uh, temperature's about 75 to 80 degrees. I normally never see them unless it's around 75, real humid, raining. It's been raining a lot. But anyhow, I got your ear. Got your ear in my jar. So we're going to use these some of our cooking that I'm going to do today. I got some uh, some of those other polypore bracket funguses that we got, the orange ones. The diamond polypore ones. Remember the orange ones we got? And then I got some wild onions. And now we have these and some other stuff. And we're going to make some uh, hot and sour soup tonight. And uh, you guys can join me for dinner and I'll show you how I do it. But yeah, we're going to use these. But these are jelly funguses. And uh, here's some basic rules of recommendation for using jelly funguses, or funguses for that matter. First of all, I never really mess with a lot of the funguses that are on the ground, growing out of the ground, that are gilled too much. I use a lot of the bracket funguses and the jelly funguses. Now the rule of thumb and the sponge fungus is the morels. And I had problems with the morels this year because I ate too many and uh, I don't eat them very often. And when I do, I pig out. The rules for funguses is try a little bit of them. Make sure you always know what they are. That helps, right? Wash them off and cook them. But they said that the jelly funguses were edible raw. And uh, as, as novel an item as that seems, I ate a lot of things off the tree. And that being one of them. But be aware where you got the tree from. And make sure they weren't sprayed with any kind of weird stuff. Even though the, there's living things on that tree, if it was sprayed and it wouldn't support any life, it would be dead. I know that for a fact, but you can get contaminants. But as far as this is concerned, I'm sure there's worse stuff out there that we've been doing to ourselves that are a lot, you know, a lot detrimental, more detrimental to your health than that. So anyhow, that was one of my recommendations. Make sure you're familiar with them, first of all jelly funguses all the research I've done they said they were friendly you can eat them raw however some people can't because of the fact that well you gotta remember if you ain't used to doing this be careful and always do it in small quantities until you get used to it I've been eating Asian food my whole life hot and sour soup is my favorite and they put this in the hot and sour soup and I did not know that so I've been eating this all my life this thins your blood. That's the other thing they said it does. So, if you have, don't eat too much of this or you'll bleed to death <laughs> if you get cut. But we're going to use some of this in our soup tonight and uh, we'll go over that because we're going to eat off the land as usual. So, with that, I'm Glenn Monroe in this little segment of uh, what'd you say? Jelly fungus? What? 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 I can't hear you. That's probably why they call it the Jew's ear. Probably because they do that cool little, that cool little slapstick thing right there. What you say? What? 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 I can't hear you. Speak louder. What? I can't hear you. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm Glenn Monroe. Roman Gnome, and uh, thanks for uh, joining me for Jelly Fungus.